Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today in this video, I kind of wanted to explain to you guys my mobility skill of choice on Righteous Fire and kind of my more preferred one overall, which is Shield Charge. Now, the reason why I really want to bring up mobility skills is because previously in Path of Exile, and this is like a long time ago, maybe like a year or two ago, um, shield charge specifically was not like ever used. It, it just it didn't have very good attack speed scaling. Uh, it scaled completely different. It was a lot more clunky. Um, and then after a little bit longer, after they introduced fortify, and everyone has been pretty much trying to fit fortify into any build ever since it's come out because fortify is just so strong. And one of the more common ways to proc fortify is through your mobility skill, whether it be through like whirling blades. Um, or I think that's Whirling Blades, Leap Slam, or Shield Charge. You pretty much will Shield Charge into the targets to grant yourself a Fortify Duration and keep the momentum of your build going, which kind of leads in, into the Clear Speed meta, right? Um, and this is this is very good though, because it's good because it keeps up like a fast play style. It's bad because if you do this on a build and you don't you like play a build next and you don't have any mobility, you're going to be like, wow, this game feels like crap. Uh, so that's kind of like one big downside, but that mean that's kind of that's kind of how life works, right? Now with righteous fire specifically, I wanted to explain why you can get so much value out of your shield charge. So first off, let's talk about low life righteous fire, and there's only a couple things I can say really fast right now. So if you plan on playing low life righteous fire, and you do not want to use scorching ray, which I recommend for boss farming, you can actually six link your shield charge for a curse on hit setup. Which I know might sound really whack, but you can do, for example, faster attacks, shield charge, fortify, curse on hit, curse, curse. And that's a six link. It means you don't have to run blasphemy if you're running like an offensive curse. Uh, you can simply run it on your actual shield charge, which is pretty interesting. Like, it's a pretty interesting way to look at it. Now, for this character, for my life base character, um, we do a little bit... I guess we do some different things with a shield charge. So my goal with my Berserker was to scale my attack speed to to be pretty fucking fast. So this is the shield charge that we've got with nothing on. With my uh, movement speed increase, it's up to this. Now, when you've got such a consistent shield charge, you're able to properly proc, even before this, way before this, Elemental Overload, right? Because I'm not actually using any active spells, I can't normally proc Elemental Overload. So either you have to force yourself to use like Orb of Storms or, you know, whatever it is that you may want to use uh, to proc Elemental Overload and same goes to proc Elemental Equilibrium. But with Shield Charge, you can proc both of those without having to worry, right? All you got to do is get some attack speed and some flat elemental damage. So if you look on my Shield Charge, I have 1 to 144 Lightning and four, 12 to 18 Cold. Honestly, these could just be 1 to 1 values. It really doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is we're not dealing fire damage so that we can proc our Elemental Equilibrium. So when you turn on your RF, it'll look something more like this. Now, obviously, these mobs are pretty weak, so I can pull out like all my support gems, but I don't think it's really going to make a difference here. 1, uh, 2, and 3. Remember, uh, I think a common misconception a lot of players have is you do not need to curse every single white mob, and you do not need to debuff every single white mob. You do not need to have Elemental Overload up on the white mobs. The goal of Elemental Overload is to have it where you need it, right? On rares, maybe blue mobs, some bosses. Oh, actually, probably all bosses. So it's okay if your consistency is not super, super good because... Uh, again, if white mobs die instantly, why do you need 40% more damage for them? It's, you know, if it makes a difference by 0.1 seconds, it really should be kind of irrelevant. Um, so that's kind of just something I wanted to run you guys down and just show you guys a little bit of some cool interaction uh, with Shield Charge and Righteous Fire. I know a lot of you guys know this stuff already, but there's a bunch of new players coming into 3.0, so I want to make sure I can help them out a little bit. Uh, I'm probably going to be making videos regarding a bunch of the questions I got asked on stream. Um, so I can just refer them here. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, just really fast to cover what I'm using in my shield charge. Majority of this comes from just my attack speed scaling, but a lot of this comes from socket and gems have 16% more attack and cast speed. Uh, that's with the faster attacks gem with my shield charge. 
utilizing essence of insanity to craft on my gloves because that's what the insanity prefix or suffix does for gloves you can see it on here gloves socket or gems have 60 percent more attack and cast speed but anyway that's pretty much about it i just wanted to show you guys some cool stuff anyway though if you like the video please feel free to like share and subscribe and remember you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box hope you guys have a wonderful time i'll see you boys all tomorrow take care everybody